gonna form up our burgers. I just mixed them together. I put some salt, pepper, and a little dash of onion powder in there. Now, this is that coarse ground meat here. Okay? I got a few people that want themselves a nice bugger. They don't want to disrespect the God's integrity and deny themselves one of me buggers. Yeah, no. All right, so. Got my pan going. This is how, let me wash my hands real quick. Okay. Now, I know a lot of y'all out there got kids and things. And my child, at his school, they sell some pretty neat things. And one of the things was this mandolin. Now, the mandolin is going to take my onion and slice it right on up for me. For, look, we still in the process of making that spaghetti. That's, that meat sauce. So this is what I'm going to do for this. I'm going to take the top. You always cut the part that has the vine on it and leave the root part. You know why? Because the root will last longer than the vine part. So we're just going to cut that top piece off and I'm going to shred down. Still wet. Easy to move around. Look at that. Oh, that was so easy. That was great. That's because we just ozonated it. Okay? Alright. Now, take my Take this here, the mandolin. I don't recommend you doing this because there's a safeguard here. This is the safeguard. You put this, snap it, look, look, right into the onion. See that? And this is what you do. Now, I was just going to do it with my hands, but I know y'all watching, and I want my family to be safe. So, use a safeguard. And we're just going to give a few slices. Got a pan going. We're gonna put our burgers right on in there, right on top of that grease. We got another burger going in there, and it's already seasoned, so we're just gonna cook it up. Then when it, it drains out all the fat from it, we're going to add the, bird, uh, the the onion, and we're going to make the sandwiches. we got some sweet Hawaiian buns, and the family likes the sweet Hawaiian, so that's what they're going to get. Add some cheese, and there it is. We'll show you the finished product when we're all done. Thank you. So we flipped our burgers. We put the onions in. We moved it over to the side, and we're just going to let it cook together. Everybody in our house likes their burgers mid well to well done and i suggest you would cook your burger like that too but if you're going to have a rare burger this is obviously the best one to have because it's ozonated everything's dead in it so might as well have it if you like it rare if you like that i'd rather have a rare piece of steak than a burger me personally i just don't like the texture but hey go for yours bro well, this is all I'm going to do is cook these onions and the fat of the meat. This is confit. Well, no, it's not. You know what? I'm sorry. Confit is cooking something inside its own fat. So the onions don't have any fat. But. So that's, I don't know how they... How they made that tomato confit at the job. So, oh may I speak now? I'm sorry, go ahead. Hold on, I'm oh, so now, look, over here, we're gonna move our onions around, okay? Move your little burger. Woo! We got it burnt up there for them. You know what I'm saying? The burger tasters got it nice and burnt for them. All right. Check out what we do for the burger taster. Take that burn off. Look at it. 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 I mean, if you got it just to 
Go ahead and put you some more in there if you got it. But for the people that's gonna be tasting these, they won't know. Cause you know, all that burnt flavor is off of there. So I'm quite sure everybody knows about this trick, but in case you didn't know about this trick right here, there you go. And that's it. I'm going to rinse that down the sink. Smart like me. You got a nice plug in your sink so it don't go in your sink. Everything's done. Then you got to move fast now. Everybody wants some. You put cheese on that burger, okay? And this is what we do. Put our onions on top of the burger. Look at this. That's how we do it right here. This is a good way. Now, when I grew up in, in Buffalo, New York, you know, it was uh, Miss Young's. It was on Southampton in Michigan. She used to put her onions on top of her burgers like this here. And then, you know what she would do? She put the cheese right on top of that. So. And I heard Miss Young's on Southampton in Michigan, in Buffalo, New York, this is how we do it. Right here. Not so much in honor of her because it was good, I'll tell you that. <laughs> so we go two pieces of Cooper cheese. Cooper cheese is a sharp American cheese. Very good, very good. Hit this with a little water. We're gonna make up the one burger. Okay. That's how we gonna do it. I know what she, I know what the wife wants. So, we'll do the mayonnaise. Okay. Little mayonnaise on top and bottom. And she like a little mustard, I mean ketchup. Okay, a little ketchup. Guess what, the burgers are done. Bam, look at that. Oh my God, we made these. Can you believe it, we made them? And you doing that same thing at home. Look at that finished product, okay? Okay? So, this is what we do here. Coming over to the sandwich. We coming over to the sandwich. We trying not to break the yolk. Please don't break the yolk. Bam, let them break the yolk, okay? Okay, now we coming over to the sandwich. Oh, oh my God, there it is. There it is. There it is. Now we're going to re readjust the avocado. Okay. And see, you want to think good thoughts. You know why? Because I ain't got no gloves on. I got clean hands transferring. Oh, my God. I, I want like right that. There we go. That's for the cameraman right there. Oh, my God. Cameraman, look, look good. Look good, cameraman. Oh, ho, 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 ho. okay. So we're going to take a break. And we'll see you again. Any good fish?